Today, just a quick tutorial on how to edit a robotic arm movements. This is actually really easy. As shooting is concerned, go around your object, make a couple of approaches. If possible, switch to FPV mode in your gimbal and basically you're ready to create this effect in post. So let's pick the moment from which we want to create this robotic arm movement. Now select the clip in the timeline and tap Ctrl R to open Retime Controls and create first speed point. Click this little black arrow and choose add speed point. Now move the playhead, maybe here, and create another speed point. Let me zoom in the timeline, so hold Alt and scroll. Now you need to open a retime curve view, so right click and check retime curve. Okay, let me make more room to better see what's going on in our retime curve. Now drag the second speed point towards the first one. If you no longer see your speed points, you can drag this percentage number to adjust the view. Now select the second point, switch to smooth instead linear. Let me zoom in some more. And you can also control the steepness of the ramp. Like this. Okay, so this is what we've got. To make it faster, drag the second speed point towards the first one some more. And correct the steepness to your liking. Now, move the playhead to the point where the ramp is finishing and create another speed point. Drag it to the right. It will slower down the video. I can easily slow it down by a half because my video was shot in 60 frames per second. If you shot in 30 FPS, I wouldn't go lower than 80% maybe. So this is what we've got so far. Now you can repeat all those steps as many times as you want. I will create two more sequences to round it up. So this is how it looks. As a final step, in fast movement scenes like these, it's a good idea to add some motion blur. We can fake it with directional blur. So what you can do is to add adjustment clip and apply directional blur. In the inspector, make sure the blur angle is matching the movement and also make sure the blur effect is only visible over the speed ramps. So we need to cut it accordingly. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and like. It motivates a lot to create new tutorials. Cheers and see you in the next one.